Hello everyone. So, about a month ago, one of my friends invited me to do a half marathon for free, so I decided to take him up on the offer and do my first ever half marathon. And when I started, I decided to read this book called Born to Run, you know, get some knowledge on how to run better and hopefully finish the half marathon properly. The book is Born to Run is by Christopher McDougall. And while reading the book, I learned a lot about running, specifically that apparently running barefoot can help you a lot. So right now it's March 25th, 2019. The marathon is on April 28th, 2019, which gives me a little over four weeks before the marathon or the half marathon. And I thought it'd be kind of fun if I tried doing it while running barefoot. Well, sp more specifically while running in Vibram five finger shoes, which is essentially the equivalent of running barefoot. So I just went on REI and ordered myself a pair of Vibram road running shoes and they're coming in on Friday, which will give me exactly four weeks and two days to train and learn how to run with them and hopefully finish a half marathon. So yeah, this is just starting off the journey and we'll see how it goes. The Vibram Five Fingers finally came in and they feel interesting. <laughs> so I am normally a size 9.5 and these come in European sizes, but they also tell you a size in US. So I got one that was size 9 to 9.5 and the other pair was 9.5 to 10 because I couldn't decide which one I was supposed to fit in. So I just tried on both of them and even the one that said 9 to 9.5 seems a little big. So I actually have them on right now. So there seems to be a bit of room on the heel here. I'm not sure that's supposed to happen and these, these straps are actually on like the max setting. So I think I'm gonna order another pair that's a size smaller than these because I wanna make sure I get just the right fit. So until then, I guess I'm gonna start running in these. Just in terms of how they feel, the individual toes feel a little constricted. I'm not sure if that's gonna like cause any rashes or if it's gonna feel weird while running, but we're gonna find out. So starting today, it's exactly 30 days until the half marathon. So I have 30 days to train in these, which should be a perfect way to test if this is possible. So I'm gonna go for a run right now, maybe about a mile, and get back to see how they feel. I am back from my first run with the Vibram Five Fingers, and it's basically just as expected from the videos and research I did. So my calves are very tired, and just to point out, this was a one mile, a one mile run, and it took me 11 minutes, so like very slowly, and it was pretty tiring because this is my first time trying to run barefoot, basically and my calves are really tired already, really sore, so I'm definitely gonna roll those out after. And my forefoot, like this part of the foot is just in pain, just from the sheer contact. The fact that you basically land toe first is now like a completely new contact style for the foot, I guess. And I think it just needs to get used to it and build up some, some strength there, and some tolerance or something. But yeah, in terms of how I was expecting it to feel very similar to what I did research on. And I'm just gonna keep going and see how this goes for 30 days. My plan is to basically train every other day, run every other day, and just kind of slowly <laughs> increase the distance I run and see if I can build up to the half marathon length, which is 13 miles. And hopefully not get injured because that's mainly the point of why I'm trying these out to see if I can prevent injury mainly knee injuries or just any general running injury. So we'll see how it goes. I'll try to keep updates coming and see how I feel throughout the journey. This is 28 days out from the half marathon. And this is my second day of running in the Vibram Five Fingers. Just a quick update. Update. It turns out I bought the uh, V Aqua shoes. So these are actually not the Roadrunner shoes, these are the, the ones that are meant for water. So I just ordered another pair of Roadrunner shoes. So I guess until then I'm gonna be running in these Viaqua shoes and 
We'll see how that goes. Definitely not ideal though. My calves are super sore, actually from last run, two days ago. So just like I was told in all the other videos, this is very expected from running in the five finger shoes for the first time. So I'm gonna continue to see how it feels today. I think I'm still gonna do about a mile because I wanna get used to running in these and see how that goes. I just did one mile in nine minutes and 21 seconds. And the calves are really sore. 26 days out, time to go for a two mile run. Here we go. We just finished two miles, took me 18 minutes and five seconds. So an improvement for my one mile pace last time and my calves are still super sore. 26 days out, I'm gonna do a three mile run. The calves are still feeling sore, but a bit better than last time, I think. All right, I just finished three miles. It took me 27 minutes and 16 seconds. The calves still feel sore, but in terms of injury, I feel pretty good. No knee pain, no hip pain, so it's a good sign. So the KSO Evo Road Runner shoes just came in. So here they are. No more running in the V Aqua shoes. Time to I'm try these guys on. All right, so they're on now. They, uh, they feel pretty nice. So these are the size 8.5 to 9 shoes. Uh, the V Aqua shoes I was wearing were size 9 to 9.5. And regularly my shoe is size 9.5. So surprisingly, these 8.5 to 9 shoes are fitting much better. They're like pretty much perfect. There's no space here in the heel. I feel really comfortable. I also like these shoes, I think more than the Aqua ones, since they have a better tightening system. It actually tightens the full foot. It's not just the side, side strap like the Aqua ones. So they feel better. Uh, I'm gonna give them a shot. So I'm just outside the house, I'm just trying them out. And they feel pretty light. I feel like the, the layer underneath where you're running, like the sole, this part here, it's a, I think it's a little bit thinner. It feels a little more light of a shoe than the Aqua ones. So I'm gonna do three miles again today. See how they, uh, see how they feel. All right, so I just finished running three miles. It uh, took me 27 minutes and 35 seconds this time. I think a little bit quicker than last time, but <sighs> calves are still really sore. But hopefully it gets better. So this is uh, 20 days out, about to do a four mile run. Here we go. <sighs> calves are really sore and it's only been a mile. Oh boy. I just finished four miles. And it took me 40 minutes and 54 seconds, which has been by far my slowest pace. But I don't know what was wrong this time. My calves were like super sore. My knees started hurting a bit in the middle. Hopefully it gets better. It's a little dark out right now. It's 9.40. Uh, just about to start the four mile run. I don't know if you can see me, but here we go. Calves feel kind of all right. We'll see how it feels throughout the run. Just running and I fell. <laughs> um, I hit a bump. I guess with wasn't lifting my feet up very high and you really got to pay attention to these Vibram shoes because any little bump you really feel so just kind of slid. I didn't really hurt myself too much. I just scraped my arm a little bit but scraped the phone. I don't know if you could tell but there's my screen is scrapped up so yeah definitely got to be careful. Didn't expect that to happen. I finished four miles. This time it took me 42 minutes but it felt better. My calves aren't as bad, but that was a long time. I don't know how 30 miles is gonna feel. All right, just about to start the six mile run. This is the longest I've ever ran, probably in my whole life. So, pretty excited to see how this feels. My calves feel pretty good so right now, so here we go. I'm 3.7 miles in. Calves are very tight. So I'm walking it off a little bit, see if that helps. But I don't want to push through and hurt myself. So hopefully a bit of a walk will help. 
just finished the six mile run. It took me one hour and one minute. So not too horrible, but 10 minute, 10 minute mile pace. So it felt better. The calves aren't feeling too bad, except for that one little break I had in the middle. But it felt good. Four mile run time. So last two four mile runs I did were both over 40 minutes, just over. I'm gonna try to get this one under 40 minutes. Seems very reasonable. Uh, it's been two days since I ran. Calves are not sore at all anymore. Feels very nice. Very happy about that. And some guy in the truck just looking at me weird. But <laughs> I, uh, I also got these nice and short running shorts. Saw them on Amazon. Made a split second decision and got them. Don't really know if they're going to do anything. I mean, I didn't really get them for performance, but... Thought it would just be kind of funny. Here we go. Three miles. It took me 31 minutes, 20 seconds. Meaning, I have eight minutes and 40 seconds left to finish this last mile. I'm gonna go for the big push and try to get this under 40 minutes. Here we go. I finished in under 40 minutes. 39 minutes and 42 seconds. Did the last one, last mile, in eight minutes and 24 seconds. Definitely my fastest mile yet, so. All good, but very tired now. All right, doing another four mile run this morning. Feeling good. Off we go. All right, just finished, just, the, just finished four miles. 38 minutes, 51 seconds. Got in under 39 minutes this time. Felt good. The calves are still sore though. It's been like 20 days now. I don't know if it ever gets better. I'm literally running short on time here. I got a seven mile run to go and I need to finish this in under 70 minutes to make it in time for dinner. So here we go, seven miles in under 70 minutes. Honestly, not impressive, but impressive for me. Four point five miles. I'm tired. 5.5 miles. Um, ankle feels kind of not great, so uh, I'm just gonna slowly keep going. Hopefully, I don't injure myself. Finished seven miles in 69 minutes. So, one minute off the 70 minute mark that I set, or one minute better, I guess. So, mission accomplished, I guess. Good morning, everybody. Run time, doing a four mile run, what's new? Doing the same thing again, four mile run. Today, that's what the training plan says. So, kind of worried because I do have a half marathon in literally six days, and the most I've ran is seven miles, but I'm not sure if it's a great idea to really run anything more than that anymore. So I think I'm gonna run four miles today. Wednesday I have another four mile run scheduled. I'm gonna try to do maybe something like eight and then just Maybe something light on Friday and then just rest till Sunday because that's That's it. Gotta do the run. Okay, so just wanted to mention one thing is um, The ankle is doing better. It doesn't have to walk or anything anymore. I Don't want to really push it too much on the run. So I think I'm gonna take it a lot slower Hopefully it doesn't hurt again. Also this is something that's happened from these shoes. They've been, my toe's been rubbing on here and I kind of got a rash. So I'm gonna try to put some like paper on it or some, something soft so it doesn't keep rubbing. But that's one, one side effect I've noticed of these shoes. Otherwise they've been pretty good. So this is what I'm gonna try to do. I couldn't think of anything better. Um, probably not the best choice, but. Here we are. Off we go. Ankle is kind of hurting again. I've been running pretty slow, but still acting up a little bit, so that's not great. But I'm just gonna walk a little bit, hopefully, be able to finish the four miles still at a nice and slow pace. All right, so I'm at 3.2 miles and just constantly been taking breaks because the ankle's been not feeling great, just slight pains, and I don't want to hurt anymore. So, 
I think I'm just gonna commit to walking the last 0.8 miles and I mean, I'm gonna get a terrible time, but hopefully I'll be healthy for the actual event in six days. Just finished walking the four miles. It took me only 53 minutes. Great pace. Something around the lines of, what is that? 13.25 minutes a mile. Oh boy. I really hope uh, the ankle starts feeling better because that's not the pace I want to be going for during the half marathon, that's for sure. I'll be finishing that thing in like three hours. <laughs> but I'm doing it regardless. So I think I'm gonna take a bit, a bit longer of a break. I'm not gonna run in two days. I'll take three days and then do my last run probably right before the half marathon. Hopefully it goes well. I'm going to move, or sorry, I did move my run to today. So it's supposed to be four miles. I'm gonna do six miles. It's gonna be my last run before the half marathon in three days. So hopefully it feels good. I'm doing it indoors, so I, I won't be recording, but it, uh, I'm gonna do it on the treadmill for the first time. And hopefully it goes well. Let's talk about how that run went now. So, I ran half a mile. Yep, half a mile. And I was supposed to run six miles. So, went really well, as you can tell. So this morning, I decided to go surfing. Probably not a great idea since I got three and a half hours of sleep. Was up at 4 a.m. Super exhausted. Just crazy tired. Just was like, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get the six mile run done. Just finish it off, finish the day off, and then start running. And the top of my foot starts hurting. No idea why. So uh, this part right here, it's the other foot, not the one that the ankle hurt on. So that's nice. So now I'm scared that my ankle might start hurting and the top of my foot might start hurting and I have a half marathon in three days. Not great, that's for sure. But on the bright side, I got a surfboard, the classic Costco surfboard. And um, yeah, so I ended up just rolling out and stretching for an hour at the gym and sitting in a hot tub. So not a very successful day. Half marathon on Sunday, hopefully it goes well. I'm just trying to finish at this point. I mean, I don't know what's been going on with the feet. I don't know if it's the shoes. I think I'm just super tired. I'm gonna just try to rest up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I did it. I finished my first half marathon. 
and it feels really nice. Honestly, it was a great time. Like I thought this would just be like some normal run, you know, just a casual 13 mile run or something, but it was like a, it was a full production, like a full event. People were cheering me on. There was like free drinks, free food along the way. It was like a super great time. Like I really enjoyed it way more than I ever expected. Um, it was way harder than I ever thought too. Like it was super exhausting. So just to point out, I didn't, I was going into this with having run a maximum of seven miles and the race is 13 miles. So I just went over half the distance. And this is the most I've ever ran in my life. So 13 miles was basically doubling the most I've ever ran in my entire life. So for some reason, I didn't expect this to be that hard. I, would, I would just thought I would just keep running, but it was terrible. Like I was thinking, you know, I could probably keep like a 10, 10 mile a minute pace, 10, 10 minutes a mile pace, 10 minutes a mile. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> pace. And because that's what I was doing during warm ups or during the, the training and not even close. I finished in two hours and 40 minutes, which is a 12 minute, 12 minute a mile pace. And that was tiring. Like I am really, really sore right now. My knees really hurt. <laughs> my hips really hurt. And I got a bunch of rashes on my feet. So if I actually show you this, you can see here, so I've, I've gotten rashes here and here. It's not too bad. You can't really see it as well. And then I also got rashes on this foot. This one's a bit worse. So you can see on this one, it's right here and here. And that was just from constant rubbing with the shoe. So I wasn't ready for that. I never had that really happen that bad. I had a little bit of problem with that earlier, but not that bad. And just throughout the run, actually, the top of my foot was hurting. So the, the three days before the marathon, the half marathon, I did mention that the top of my foot here was hurting and it was pretty bad. Like the morning of, I was having trouble walking to get to the half marathon. So that was not a good sign, but I did push through and right now I don't know if it got worse or if it's just really sore now but a lot of different pains through the legs like way more than i was expecting but all in all a really good time i also got this <laughs> lovely medal it's got a just a picture of some some runners and you got the nice the nice finisher strap here so that's kind of cool that's nice nice little addition you know it makes you feel better but yeah so <laughs> When I was, when I was running near the end, I was basically like the only young guy running. Like everyone was way older than me. It was kind of a little embarrassing, but I mean, I was, I'm happy to finish. Like this was my first time ever. So I think it can only get better from now. And just in general for the Vibram five fingers, let's talk about that. So how was that journey? So. I ran 14 times in them, I believe, which I mean, I ran for a month. A month felt like a long time, but I was thinking it was only 14 total runs in them. So it's really not that much. Transitioning in 14 runs or 30 days is what I had was a little tough or is very tough. I don't think it's enough time. Like my feet were not really ready for that distance. I couldn't get up to the distance in training and doing the half marathon was just a huge push for distance that I didn't really have. I think maybe in two months would be much better, but I don't think a month is quite enough, especially after running your whole life. This is 21 years of my life in regular shoes I've been moving and now just transitioning to running on bare feet essentially is a pretty crazy change for the body. So yeah, for anyone out there, would recommend longer than 30 days to transition if you're planning to do a half marathon. <laughs> but I'm gonna continue running in them. I have a half Ironman in 13 weeks and I'm gonna continue training in them. 
the half Ironman finishes with the half marathon. So I'm hopefully going to do better than this time in the half Ironman. That'd be awesome because there's still be the run and the swim beforehand. And I'm going to keep doing in Vibram five fingers and hopefully it gets better. I'm, I really think it was the fact that I just didn't run enough in them and then my feet just didn't adapt because I was having some issues. Like I was having the ankle problem and the, the top of the, the other foot was hurting. But I really think that was just the fact that I transitioned way too quickly into them. But that's it. First half marathon complete. Time to tackle the half Ironman. Oh, all right. Let's talk about how we're feeling today. It's hard to walk. My feet. I've never been in this much pain, like every part of my foot is sore. It's really hard to walk. I was not expecting this. So I think today is definitely a no exercise day. So today, day off, I'm gonna go hit a hot tub and a sauna and just relax.